Niggas ain't getting no dug. I ain't even gonna lie. And nigga, I been sipping tea, eating lemons and shit. Honey. <laughs> YouTube. What's the righteous word? It's your boy Gangland Neem, aka Neeman. I be for the E. Golly. I don't know y'all. Remember that. And we back with another video. So um I've been seeing a lot of stuff about Jala. I say it like point and shoot now. I don't need y'all niggas in my comments talking about it. I like the way he says Jala. So now I say it. But um I've been seeing a lot of uh stuff about Flacco paperwork. <clears throat> Pardon me. And um this ain't Flacco paperwork unless he's lying about his name. I'm gonna just be real with y'all, but we're gonna bust some things down because I thought that this was all weird, right? Now, if this is your first time to the channel, please like, subscribe, comment, and share. Please and thank you. We need that for the algorithm. If you could go to the top of the page, smash that Instagram link. Follow me on Instagram. Shoot me any content y'all want me to react to there. <clears throat> Golly. Also, join up in the Discord. Good people over there. We had the Kendrick uh, concert last night. Shout out to everybody who pulled up. It was a good time. Shout out to my city, for real, again. You know what I'm saying? Also, smash that TikTok link for me. I got content going up over there as well. Excuse my voice. But look, I want to play this clip from Flacco. Now, this was Flacco asking my dog Lush for the fade. But I want you all to pay attention to the words coming out of this man's mouth. I want you all to pay attention to the statement he's making before he asked for this fade. And then we're going to get into this paperwork. I think that you a snake, bro. The like where you from conspiracies, I right, cool, bro. But where I won't tolerate it, bro, is yo, I got a last name, bro. And we are very prideful people, dog. Like my last name, I would die for that, bro. So when I see Nick saying that I have an open case and then implying that it's something of nature, dog, I can't let that go, Lush. You feel me? I cannot tolerate that. And as a man, dog, win, lose, or draw, Lush, I need that fade outside, yo. Word. Oh, sh. That's my last name you playing with, dog. Sick fuck with this act. I didn't know. I need my fade outside, Lush. Cool. Um, All right, let's get it, bro. Yeah. Hold on, hold on. Whoa, 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 whoa. I do want to say this, though, Lush. I think that you're a snake, bro. Now that's all good and great, right? But I'm gonna take y'all. I'm gonna take y'all to this little segment in here. I want y'all to just pay attention to what he says about his name and his last name, and I'll die for my last name, right? Just pay attention real quick. Walk with me for a second. Yo, I let me put y'all on game. The last name, bro, and we are very prideful people, dog. Like my last name, I would die for that, bro. So when I see Nick saying that I have an open case and then implying that it's something of nature dog i can't let that go lush you feel me i cannot tolerate that and as a man dog win lose or draw lush i need that fade outside yo word oh all right that's enough of thickums now look pay attention how he said i got a last name i would die for my last name you trying to say that some open case that i have is nextual it's a nextual case you know what i'm saying y'all know what that is read between the lines Now we're gonna get into this paperwork, right? Now, you talk about your last name and wootu wootu whoop jala. That's his last name. I'm gonna get up out of here so y'all can see this. Now, again, I don't do paperwork or anything, but I just thought it would be fitting for the moment. And especially seeing that clip that I just ran for you guys, right? He's talking about his name and we are prideful people, right? And you saying that I got a case that's nectual. Woo woo woo, right? Now, you might not got a case that's nectual because your name is not David M. Jala. You're Frederick Jala, right? But I'm hearing that this is your brother, David M. Jala, who does have a case that is nectual. You hear me? So we just going to walk this down because I thought this was crazy. I'm going to get up out of here so y'all can see the full screen. Yeah, I want y'all to see that. So um, this is Court of Appeals of Ohio. You know what I'm saying? And this is uh, law.justia.com. Calm. Now, anybody could look this up. Again, I'm not a paperwork party guy or anything like that. But I thought about that moment, right, where Flacco said all that about his name and we're a prideful people. Why would you even get off like that and you know that your brother got a weird case? Why is he around? That's weird, bro, and disingenuous at best. When you know your brother has a nectual case, it's kind of crazy. So 
This is from Ohio. This happened while his brother was in college, right? So this is 32 pages in length. I'm definitely not doing that. You know what I'm saying? I am definitely not doing 32 pages. But what I want to do is I want to go I want to go to page 11 because this is where it really start, right? Page 11 is where it really start. You know what I'm saying? Now, it says, Jala, one time prior to the incident, she had one time invited her to a room. So basically, Jala's brother did some freakish. You know what I'm saying? He did some freakish and got caught up for it. Now, as to the March 6th incident, S.A., I don't know uh, exactly what that means, but I'm going to just say shorty. Shorty testified that her friend Hannah had been to her room at 6.15 or 6.30 p.m. When Hannah was leaving, Jala was standing out. Jala was standing outside her room. Shorty said Jala smelled like marijuana. Shorty and Jala began talking about phones because Jala had broken his and wanted a phone from her friend at AT AT&T. While Shorty and Jala were still talking about the phones and Jala was still standing in the hallway, he said, so can I ask you a question? That's what Jala said. He said, can I ask you a question? She replied, yeah. He said, he then asked her, did she have a boyfriend? She told him, yes, she did. Right. He asked, are you always faithful to your boyfriend? She said that she was. He asked, like, always? She said, yes. He said, so you currently have a boyfriend, but she done already told you she has a man. I don't know how much more abundantly clear she needs to make this. She got a man, bro. Simple as that. At this point, Jala was asking her about her boyfriend. She added, Jala, if he, she asked Jala if he was drunk or high. Jala laughed and told her he was not drunk or high. Jala then told her he had got some condoms. Freaky. He the 69 God. That's crazy. That's crazy. And asked her, do you want to help me use them? Freaky ass boy. Shorty said, I have a boyfriend and I'm faithful. Yet again, she told him, dude, I have a boyfriend. It's clear. She got a man, dog. At that point, Shorty attempted to close her door, but Jala stopped her from doing so by putting his hands to block the door from closing. Jala said, wait, can I ask you a favor? Shorty replied, no. At first, then she said, what? He asked her if she would give him head. She replied, no, you should go. Jala then kind of put his foot at the door, blocking the door, y'all, and said, well, I'll make you a deal. I'm going to show you if you like what you see, then you can give me head. If you don't, then I'll leave. Now, that's disgusting. She's already told you she got a man. She don't want no parts of you, Jala. So why do you continue with this? She responded, I would rather you not. I would rather you just go to your room. This is in college too, y'all. This is a college dorm where this happened. Pay attention. Shorty explained, at that point, he was in my room in front of the door. He closed the door and pulled his pants down and started feeling himself. Freaky at He the 69 God. That's crazy, dog. He told her that he, he told her that he was so high. Right then and so horny. Ugh, nasty. Oh, nasty. And wanted her so badly. Shorty said that Jala then grabbed the back of her head and tried to make her give him oral sex. Shorty was able to get away from him. She called Hannah and asked her if she was going to come back upstairs. But then Hannah said her dad was calling and that she would have to call her back. At this point, Shorty testified that Jala had her arms behind her back and was trying to shove his hands in the front of her underwear to her vagina. That's crazy. Shorty said that she had crossed her legs so he couldn't get in there. Jala then stuck his hands in the back of her pants 
into her panties and was grabbing on her butt. This is just disgusting. These are, this is what's going on. I'm just telling y'all, this is what's going on. And this is the same man, Frederick Jala, right? Frederick Jala. He said, yo, I die for my name. I need that fade, Lush. My name, we're a prideful people. We're a prideful people. Yeah, but you knew your brother was a fan, was a fan, was a fan. Now, we're going to go to page 16. I'm just getting to the important stuff. I'm going to just be honest with y'all. Right? That's that's just, that's just what we getting to. You feel me? Detective Scott, <clears throat> oh, excuse me, Detective Secor testified that he got involved in the case sometime in the evening of March 6, 2014. Detective Secor interviewed Jala around 9.30 p.m. at the police station on the night of the incident. The video was recorded by the detective with a camera. Detective Secor stated that the audio on the video is not that good, but he listened to it with Bo's high definite because he wanted to hear exactly what Jala was talking about. So he put it on the Bose. Now, detective, I'm going to just say detective. Detective read Jala's rights and asked him if he understood his rights. The detective informed Jala that there was a complaint against him by Shorty. Detective asked Jala if he knew Shorty. Jala explained how he knew her. The detective asked Jala if he wanted to talk with him about it. The detective testified that Jala said, I mean, I was feeling horny. How are you even going to tell a detective this? How are you even going to tell a detective something like this? That's kind of crazy. And no, I don't want to talk to you. I plead the fifth. Horny ass boy. But anyway, he said, I mean, I was feeling horny or whatever. So I went over, you know. And tried to get, you know, get her to give me a blowjob. And she didn't want to. So she told me to leave. Then I left. That's a lie. That's a lie, Jala. And again, he was convicted of this. So this, you know, it's not hearsay or anything. He's lying, right? Jala further stated, which he shouldn't have. I mean, like, we like to talk and stuff, you know. I thought, why not? I mean, she knows I like her. Jala told the detective that Shorty was flirting with him, playing with him. So that's why he pulled out his junk. Pulled out his junk. That's in quotation marks. That means that that came from David Jala's mouth. He actually said that. His junk was still jiggling. So when he went up to her, she pushed him away. Jala responded by telling Shorty, come on, you know you want to. Detective said, Excuse me. Detective asked Jala if he ever attempted to put his hands down Shorty's pants. Jala responded, I tried, but she wouldn't let me. He's just telling on himself now, y'all. He's just telling on himself. Detective asked Jala if he ever got his penis in Essay's mouth. Jala responded like this. No, no. God, no. Oh, my God. I mean, I mean, like, I wish. What type of response is that what type of response i'm not even gonna read no more of this i'm gonna just tell y'all y'all can look this up yourself justia excuse me law.justia.com it's 32 pages it's all in here i'm gonna be quite frank with you guys i feel uncomfortable even reading this i don't even know how to get this off i'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna just be real but i felt like it needed to be talked about especially seeing as he did that whole uh showing you know what I mean? On No Jumper News to Lush talking about his name and how they're prideful people and how you trying to put a a, a a nexual case on me. At the end of the day, your brother had a nexual case, my dog. And you knew that. You knew that. With you and your pe people and their prideful last name, you knew that your brother had a case. And why you ain't do a video on this, champ? Let's talk about that. Why Poetic Flacco ain't wax poetic about this? Talking about how prideful you are in your name and all that. I'm still going through the I'm still going through the little paperwork here. It's just crazy. The guy told on himself, and then he tries to like appeal it and say that 
you know, the way that he got arrested and his questioning and everything was wrong. Bro, first off, you didn't have to talk to them people. You know what I'm saying? I thought that y'all was smart. Respectfully, Frederick Jala act like he the smartest nigga in the room every time. You know what I'm saying? So I thought y'all would have some of that in common, right? Right? But no, you decided to talk to the, the detective and let him know exactly the crime that you committed. Look, bud, she told you plenty of times. I have a man. I don't want no parts of you. You know what I'm saying? And what he did was he forced himself on her. He forced himself on her. That's disgusting. I'm just be honest with you guys. I don't think that's cool. I don't think that's okay. And bro got a weird case. Why is he around? That's what I'm going to say. You know what I mean? But um, again, this is law.justia.com. Anybody can look this up. I'm going to go back to the top of the page real quick so y'all can peep this. Excuse my voice, y'all. I was turned up. I was turned up. You feel me? Last night was epic. Court of Appeals of Ohio. I'm saying? State of Ohio. David M. Jala. Defendant. You hear me? Judgment. Affirmed. If y'all aren't familiar with what affirmed means, it's not just a layaway app. Right? Affirmed means stated as fact. That's what that means. You know what I'm saying? This is a fact. He has been charged with this. And niggas want to talk about their last name and how they don't play on their last name. And even saying that I had something nextual. When you know that your last name has something nextual on it. You know that. Because it's your brother. It might not be you. But you got nextual stuff on your last name. Again, y'all share that last name. That's weird to me. This is the same guy who talks people's paperwork, talks people's politics, that he knows absolutely nothing about. Hey, bud, you know about your brother and his weird case. Why not talk about that? I heard he booming niggas channels about this. Why? Why are we booming niggas channels about pure fact? Nobody's lying about anything here, Jala. So what are you booming people channels for? Pay attention, y'all. I'm just saying, these is the guys who y'all watch. These is the guys who y'all follow in behind. And again, I'm not saying that Frederick Jala is a nexual assaulter or a nexual abuser. I'm not saying that. But his brother, it, it look, pull this back up, affirmed. The judgment was affirmed. It's affirmed. Your brother has been charged with that. I'll take y'all back to this clip one more time because I just think <laughs> it's just so ironic. I think this is super duper ironic, y'all. I'm going to play this one more time before we get out of here. Watch how this man talking. He's talking all low. This though, Lush. I think that you And slick. look, and, and, and he mean business with what he say, and I need that fade. I need that fade because you playing on my last name. Your brother was playing on your last name. Did you fade him? One more time before we get out of here. Niggas is weirdos. I think that you a snake, bro. The, like, where you from conspiracies, I right, cool, bro. But where I won't tolerate it, bro, is, yo, I got a last name, bro. And we are very prideful people, dog. Like, my last name, I would die for that, bro. So when I see niggas saying that I have an open case and then implying that it's something of nature, dog, I can't let that go, Lush. You feel me? I cannot tolerate that. And as a man, dog, win, lose, or draw, Lush, I need that fade outside, yo. Word. Oh, shit. Y'all don't find that disingenuous? You know what I'm saying? He's sitting up there with a dude who he feel like he could fade. He had never asked Almighty. Shout out to my nigga Almighty. Gang, gang. You hear me? Let me tell you this, though. He had never, he would never ask Almighty for a fade, no matter what he said. On his first name, middle name, or last name. But you did that to Lush because you thought Lush was food. Which is ironic because a lot of niggas think you food, bruh. And your brother got a weird case. Talk about that. Now, if this is your first time to the channel, please like, subscribe, comment, and share. Please and thank you. I need that for the algorithm. If you could go to the top of my page, smash that Instagram link. Follow me on Instagram. Shoot me any content y'all want me to react to there. Also, join up in the Discord. Good vibes. 
We had a watch party for the concert last night. Shout out everyone in attendance again because it was a vibe. You hear me? Tap that TikTok link. Follow me on TikTok. I need y'all to comment down below and let me know what y'all think about this, though, because I think this is crazy. And again, this is not poetic Flacco's nexual assault case. It's not unless he's lying to us about his name, because at the end of the day, for me, him being Frederick Jala is really all hearsay because I don't got no proof of it. I don't know who he is. We still don't know where he's from. Philly, Nebraska, Timbuktu. You know what I'm saying? And again, if any of you guys need help growing your platforms, whether that be social media, Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, YouTube, contact at Drea the Virgo. At Drea the Virgo got the answers for you. She got the help for you. She will look through your analytics. She will get you what you need to hit that next level. A lot of y'all are monetized, but y'all not getting the maximum amount of money from your monetization. She also helps with that. Again, that's at Drea the Virgo on Instagram, tap in with her. She will help you get the money on. But y'all definitely let me know what you think about the Jalas. Shout out point and shoot. I think it's crazy. You know what I'm saying? And again, I'm not putting nexual assault or nexual allegations on Flacco. But your brother definitely got a weird case. It's your boy Gangland Neen. Peace.